Hello. Today this session we are going to see how to calculate HCF of two numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. As in the name is division algorithm, so we have to write the numbers in the form of dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder that you have already studied in lower standards. So for example, you want to calculate the HCF of uh, 18 and uh, 24. We will take the smaller value so you will be able to understand the process very clearly. So now we want to write these numbers in the format of dividend is equals to divisor into question plus remainder. So we will take the among these two numbers the bigger number is 24 so we will take this as dividend so is equals to divisor with a smaller value. So that is we are going to divide the bigger number by smaller number. So 24 equals to dividend equals to divisor into question. So 18 into 1 is 18, that is smaller than 24. Uh, 18 into 2 is 36, that is greater than 24. So we'll take the smaller part, that is 18 into 1, 18. So the remainder, so 24 minus 18, that is 6. So remainder is 6. So but we have to carry out this process till we get the remainder as 0. Now, uh, in the next step, we have to again write in the same uh, Way, that is dividend equals to divisor into question plus remainder. So now we will select from these two numbers that is 18 and 6 that is divisor and remainder from these two numbers the bigger number is 18 so we will write that as dividend is equals to divisor will be the smaller value into question. So 6 into 3 is 18 exactly equals to 18 so the remainder here is 0. So finally we got the remainder as 0. So when you get the remainder 0, check the divisor, so divisor here is 6, so the divisor will be nothing but the HCF of that two numbers. So HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. So we have to carry out that process till we get the remainder 0. So when you get the remainder 0, the divisor that you are getting in that last step will be nothing but the HCF of that two numbers. Now, we are going to see uh, where we are going to apply HCF in real life examples. So, we will take one example. For example, you have bought a cake. You bought a cake in a shape of rectangle that has dimension 24 by 18. And you want to cut this cake in the shape of square. And the square should be the largest square. A possible square and it should be of the same size provided that there should be no leftover part that is the remainder should be zero as we have done in the Euclid's process we are carrying out the uh, algorithm till we get the remainder zero so similar way I am explaining again that uh, we have to cut out that rectangle in the shape of square and that square should be of the largest size that is possible in such a way that they should be of the same size, the square should be of the same size and there should be no leftover part and that is remainder should be zero. So what will be the possible square? So the answer is nothing but the HCF of these two numbers that is HCF of 18 and 24 and that is nothing but 6. So if you cut out this square of side 6 that is uh, square of 6 by 6 so it will be of the same size and there will be of there will be no leftover part the, from this cake and the remainder will be nothing but zero. So I will explain you by a geometrical way. So for example, this is a rectangle. Now first, as we have discussed, we want to find out the largest possible square. So from this rectangle, the largest possible square that you can cut out first is 18 by 18. So this is 18. So I can take 18 by 18. So this is 18. 18 by 18. So this is the largest possible square possible. But the problem is that as the condition is that remainder should be 0. So when we try to cut out the next uh, as we are getting the remainder here. So when we try to get uh, next 18 by 18 it's not possible because this is 18 but this is the remaining is nothing but just only 6. So we cannot get the another square of 18 by 18 and this is the largest possible square but the remainder that is uh, we are getting the remainder part. So, so that will not be your answer. Now we will try to get the another square from this leftover part. 
So now this left over part, uh, this is in the shape of rectangle. So whose dimension is 18, and this will be nothing but 6 because this is 24. So uh, 24 minus 18. So so this is 24. So 24 minus 18. So this will be 6. So this is 18 by 6. This rectangle. Now we'll try to divide this rectangle in the shape of square. That is maximum size square, and it will be of the same size. So uh, the maximum size square possible in this rectangle is nothing but 6 by 6. So this is nothing but 6 by 6. So 6 by 6. We'll, there is a left over part. We'll also try to cut out whether it's possible to get another 6 by 6. Yes, it's possible. Here, yeah, this is 6 by 6. Whether another is possible? Yes, this is also 6 by 6. This is looking like a uh, rectangle, but it's a square that is 6 by 6. So 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6, that is 18. So we have covered this whole uh, breadth that is 6, 6, 6 and uh, this length is 6. So 6 by 6. So we are able to cut this rectangle in a uh, shape of square of 6 by 6 and there is no leftover part. So it means if we cut out this whole cake in the shape of square of uh, 6 by 6, there will be no leftover part. So if you try to cut this So this is how you can cut this, that is 6 by 6, the square of 6 by 6, 6 by 6, 6 by 6. So there will be no leftover part, that is remainder will be 0. So that is the largest possible square uh, square and of same size and there will be no leftover part, that is remainder will be 0. So this is how we can use LCF in real life example. So we will see the another example, for example, you want to calculate Uh, we will take example for 32 and 54. Now you want to first calculate the HCF of these two numbers. So again we will see the, uh, select the bigger number that is 54 is equals to 32 into 1 is 32, 32 into 2 is 64 that is greater than 54 so we will take 1 only. So 32 into 1 32 so 54 minus 32 uh, so we will get remainder as 22. So we have to carry out till we get the remainder 0. So now we have to select from these two numbers from divisor and the remainder. The bigger number here is 32. So 32 equals to divisor will be 22. Now 22 into 1 is 22. 22 into 2 is 44. That is greater. So we will take 1. So 32 minus 22 that is 10. So remainder here is 10. So again uh, we will take in the next step 22 is equals to divisor will be 10. 10 into 2 will be 20, the remainder here will be 2. Now in the next step again, we will take 10 as dividend is equal to divisor will be 2. Now 2 into 5 is 10, and exactly equals to 0, so equals to 10, so the remainder will be here 0. So as we have discussed, if you get the remainder 0, so HCF will be nothing but the divisor that you are getting in the last step, that is divisor here is 2. So HCF of 32 and 54 is 2. So this is how you can calculate HCF of two numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. Again, we'll take that example of cake where we are using the HCF concept. So again, the cake is of dimension 54 by 32. So we want to uh, cut this in the shape of square of maximum uh, that is largest size square and is of the same size. So first we try to cut this the largest possible square in this uh, possible is 32 by 32. So if you cut this in 32 by 32, so this is 32, so this will be 32. So this is 32 by 32 but we, if we try to cut another 32 by 32 is not possible and there will be a leftover part. So as we know the condition is remainder should be 0. So we will uh, try to cut out in the remainder part here. So this is 32, so this will be 22 and this is 32. Now in this rectangle that is 32 by 22, the biggest square that is possible is 22 by 22. So we will try to cut out 22 by 22. So 22 by 22. 
So if we try to cut out the another 22 by 22, so it's not possible. So again we get the remainder here. So we are getting here remainder part. So from this remainder part again we will try to cut out the square of equal size. So this rectangle will be nothing but this is 22. So this is 10 and this is 22. So in this uh, the maximum possible square is uh, 10 by 10. So 10 by 10. So if we take 10 by 10. So 1 is possible. This is also 10. Another 10 by 10 is also possible. But there will be a remaining. This will be 2 because another 10 by 10 is not possible. Two squares are possible. The third square will be not possible. So still we are getting a remainder. So that is also not possible. Now the left over part is this. Because, uh, this is 2 because this total is 22. So 10 plus 10, 20. So the remaining will be 2 and this is 10. So in this rectangle, the maximum or the largest possible square will be nothing but 2 by 2. So 2 by 2, 2 by 2. So we will try to another 2 by 2, yes, it's possible. Another 2 by 2, yes, it's possible. Another 2 by 2, yes, it's possible. So another 2 by 2 is possible. So we will divide this rectangle in 5 squares of 2 by 2. 2 by 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6, 8, 10. So we are able to divide this rectangle in a shape of square of equal size and that is the maximum possible or largest size uh, square possible. So that means we can divide this whole uh, cake in the shape of square of size 2 by 2 and there will be no leftover part. So this is the application of HCF in real life uh, examples. So this is a, how we can calculate HCF by Euclid's algorithm of two numbers. So in the next session we are going to see how we can calculate HCF of three numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. Till then practice this type of sums. Hope you have understood. Thank you.